Hey guys, it's Miss Carrier. I hope that you are all doing well. I am going to record a series of tutorials today to help you through the office assignments, the Office 365 assignments that I've assigned in CIS and DECIS class. This is something just to help you. I've had several students reach out to me. You're a little confused with the lessons. And so I hope that by doing these step by step, um, you guys will be able to pause and play me as much as you need to, um, to be able to successfully complete these. Don't you wish you could do that in real life in the classroom? Just pause your teacher when she's talking too much. Um, I'm going to be recording these using Screencastify. They are five minute um, limited video clips. So at least you know you're only going to have to hear me for five minutes or less. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started to save on time. Let me show you first what we're going to do. We're going to be using this one of two ways. One is if you are on a Chromebook and you're going to be just using the online version. The second version of this is going to be using the Office apps. And so I'm going to record both ways because I have students with both devices. And um, the ideal way is to go ahead and install the apps. OK, they're going to work much better. Um, there you're going to be able to follow the instructions step by step versus slightly changing them. So if you have a PC and you go to office.com, that's for everybody. You're going to have the opportunity to install office directly from that. Every Washington County student has the ability to install this, I think, on up to five or six devices, uh, which is a beautiful thing, because let me show you quickly. You are getting the value of at least a $70 deal, if not $100. Um, actually, it's equivalent to the $100 deal. OK, so Washington County is providing that for you. And although you have Google Drive, Office is a little different and I think it's better. It can do more. And so um, that's great. You guys can install that. So you just go ahead and install these. Um, follow the on-screen instructions to save and then load the setup there. Pretty simple to do that. I'm not going to do it because it's already installed. Okay. Once it's installed, you're going to be able to um, go to your Cortana search and search for the application you want to use. And it'll load a um, PowerPoint there where you can start your presentation. Okay. So that's the ideal way. If you do not have a PC and you only have your Chromebook, um, still perfectly fine. You can go to office.com. Log in with your Washington County account, and you're still going to be able to use all of these um, online apps to do what we need to do. Okay, so either way, if you are storing your files online or if you're st storing your files on your PC, you're going to follow the same method. You're going to start by creating a folder and you're going to call it Office. Although I do want to show you quickly, if you notice here, it says uh, Office 365 is going to become Microsoft 365 on April 21st. So I'm actually recording these. Today is the 17th. Um, I think that's right. Uh, oh, it's the 18th. Don't even know what day it is. How about that? Have you guys had that happen to you already? Um, and so within that office folder, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create several new folders for the programs that we're using. So you'll have a PowerPoint folder. You'll create a folder called Word. You'll create another folder called Excel. Those are the three main programs um, that we'll be covering. And then within each of those, you want to go ahead and start organizing. And you want to call those module one. And then all the way through module six. Uh, that's if you're in the DE class. If you're in my regular CIS class, you're only going to need three modules. This is all you would need. I'm going to go ahead and create three more for my DE students because we're going to be going through that. Or if you just want to be enriched and do some additional assignments, maybe for my gifted kids or those that are just extremely bored, go ahead and complete all six modules so that you can learn all there is about PowerPoint. All right, so you would do the same thing if you were using the um, Office apps, you would go into an Office folder and you would create those folders here, okay? Same thing. And then within that PowerPoint folder, you would go in and create six module folders. And that's how you would get organized um, using your either your apps or the Office online, all right? So when we do these assignments, you're going to see them at the top of your classroom. You're going to see the virtual lessons. And when we complete each one, we'll be going into the day. And like, for instance, right here on April 18th, you'll see, or actually here on the 20th, you'll see we'll be moving on to, um, we'll, we'll be completing these PowerPoint lessons here. And so we'll just open that, and it'll lead us to the folders that we need. All right. So that is what we're going to be doing. And the next video is going to show you the next steps. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.